I just like the matchup. You know, Hess is a little bit more of a reverse split guy, and um, just felt like it was a good day to have him a DH, especially coming out of the off day where he played and then just played Saturday. I didn't necessarily want to have him catch that day game after night game, especially almost a four hour, but felt like it was it was the right matchup to have him in there. He had a home run the first game of the series, but did, is there anything else at the plate that indicated to you that he was heating up? Yeah, um, I feel like he's hit a number of balls actually really well. He, you know, he's had some at-bats where he's had the strikeout or, or whatever, but he's had two or three balls that have been close to homers going back to the homestand even. So I feel like he's been really close. I feel like he's been on a lot of pitches. And, um, you know, obviously today was tw was pretty big. You have a number of, like, power hitters on the IL now. but do, do you, what? On the IL now, power hitters there. But do, do you happy to see that? the guys you know filling in or, or, or playing for you guys are also yeah. producing in that way too. Yeah, I mean it's you know it's important when when you're a little beat up um, you know opportunity knocks for some guys um, but you know other guys need to need to play well and step up their game and um, you know after a difficult home stand to come in here and and uh, you know kind of bust out a little bit with the bats obviously get some good pitching performances um, that's nice to see. With the position player uh, on the mound there in the ninth, did you did you hope Gary had a chance of four? I don't know. It, it, you know, anytime that happens, you're it's just one of those times in the game you're just like, you know, it's. I've had to put one in before, and and seeing it, you know, it's it's it makes you a little uncomfortable. How good was Herman today? What was working? For him? He was he was really good. Um, you know, th three pitches that he commanded and was able to throw any of them for a strike whenever he wants. And then now you couple that with the fact that he's got really good stuff, you know, really good movement on his fastball, um, the ability to spin the breaking ball whenever he wanted to. I thought he mixed in some good change-ups as well. That's what Domingo's capable of. When he's at his best and commanding things, he's capable of outings like that. And he was he was pitch efficient and uh, he, was, he was really dominant. Felt like he may be tired a a little bit there towards the end after a couple long innings, um, but but he was terrific. We are you, tend to get a, uh, you tend to get a lot of questions on on Gary, uh, yeah. good and bad. Yeah. Just wondering when he's when he's an elite hitter. Can yeah. you obviously he's going to try to get better on all areas? Can you live with this version of, of Gary Sanders? Is he an asset? He's he's look he's he's a great player that's still growing and um, you know it's our job to help him continue to reach his peak on, in every facet of the game and um, he's making he's making strides in a lot of areas of the game and uh, we know we've got you know a special talent uh, on our hands and, and a guy that impacts the game period We're talking about Clint Frazier having a high ceiling is the last two days an indication of what he can potentially bring to this team uh, yeah I mean, that's what he's capable of, too. He's really talented. And, uh, you know, to have one of the biggest hits so far in the early year yes, last night uh, with two outs um, and then have more good at-bats today, you know, I, I really like the after the home run. I think we we're up 4 nothing with two outs. Got the base hit up the middle to, to add what felt like a big run at that point to just kind of get out there a little bit, um, you know, and, and for us to be able to continue to add on, you know, Clint was a big part of that and, and allowed us to, to give, give some guys in our pen that we, you know, have wanted to give that day to, uh, to be able to give them all that day is, is big as well. That's, that's why the adding on is really important. Is there such thing as too many home runs? You guys have set seven today. You seem to get a lot. Seven? Seven oh. today, and then I think all but three of your runs this series. One, no, one, n never too much for us. I'm, I'm always I'm good with us hitting as many as we need to. Is what Herman did today why you seemed comfortable even after Severino and CC went out this spring? Um, I don't know if you're ever comfortable when Severino and CC go out, but that doesn't change the fact that we know Domingo's capable of a lot, and we expect a lot of him. And uh, and so far, his first two starts, he's delivered. He's, you know, a, again, another one of those guys that came in, I thought, and had a really good spring, had a really good focus to him. I feel like we've seen growth with him, and and he's capable. I mean, you watch the East games. It's three pitches that are 
big league pitches that he can he can have outings like that. If he's if he's commanding the ball, he he can match up with anyone. You have five veteran starters. If Ramon keeps this up, is there a way that he can somehow stay in the rotation? Um, look, he's he's going to play a big role for us. Um, I mean, I feel like answering that question is getting so far ahead of ourselves right now. You know, we got to start getting guys back slowly but surely, and then. The bottom line is Domingo's playing a big role for us now. I, th I see him playing a big role for us throughout the season, and we just want to put him in the best position to go out there and continue to have strong outings for us.